What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Locked In with Trey. And guess what, guys? Today is the day I hit my first year with dreadlocks. And man, I am so excited. Hey, this is most definitely one for the books. And hey, without further ado, let's jump into some pictures and show y'all from start to now the progress. So let's get into it. Stay locked. Okay, it's only right that I start out at the 360 Waves, man. I was dipping. Everybody who is rocking Waves, man, you know the time, the process. You know how long it takes or took to get Waves. And man, look, 360 Waves is nothing to play with. I've been doing Waves for forever, since I can remember, really. Since the fifth grade, and I'm 31 right now. So you do the math on that one. But hey, yes, this is where I started. Anybody who knows me, they know I was a wave head. But I decided to take my steps into the lock community and I am happy that I did it. It was a new journey and a hey, it's been a great journey. I've surrounded myself with a whole bunch of support. You guys, you know what I mean? Y'all are family to me. Y'all have kept me in good spirits about it. Keep me pushing this content out for you guys so y'all can learn as I learn. You know what I mean? This is a growing community and I'm new to it still, even though I just hit my first year and that's too late. But you guys, anything is possible. And this is where it all started for me, right here. Whenever I left my job, me and my wife started doing our own thing, started our own business, Recapture Values. Go check that out, www.recapturevalues. And then I started my own Christian clothing company called The Good Mob. Go check that out. A lot of good merchandise. So anyway, but yeah, we started our own business. I stepped away from the nine to five. Actually, it was six to six. And I was like, hey, man. The stereotype is gone because I work for myself now and I don't have to worry about my boss or any of my co-workers that, you know, think dreadlocks are such a bad thing, which they're not. They're actually on the rise, as you all know. But yeah, man, I decided to make a change since I was in the working field for so long, just like most people are, and I was finally able to free myself. I was like, man, let me go on and do something different I ain't never done before. So I started my lock journey from this right here, and that's, that's amazing to me. But anyway, moving on. I guess you could say this is my lock process and also my hair growth process to show you guys how much my hair has grown. And in this picture, my hair was long enough to start the dreadlocking process, you know what I mean? Even though I had already started my dreadlocking process from waves, but this is where you can see my hair starting to stick up a little bit, you know, that high top fro. And I was doing my own barber work, you know what I mean? My own barber. So, hey, if y'all like haircut tutorials, go on and watch those videos. They old, like I said in my other video, but hey, they will help you out step by step. So go check that out. Learn how to cut your hair. Stop spending money at the barber shop unless you just like it and you got it like that. Then go for it. Hey, go for it. But anyways, at this moment right here, I knew it was time to start my locks like for good. I went from doing the little curls with the curl sponge to going a little harder on my head. Pause. Hey, pause. But yeah, I started going even harder with the sponge, you know what I mean, to get that separation on my hair from the curls, this picture right here, to this picture right here. And I know y'all seen this picture so much, but this is when I really started doing my locking process and my hair started separating and it was even all over and it was straight. It was a straight look. I liked it. The only thing is, it wasn't the look that I wanted. Now, somebody looking at this picture right here will probably be like, ain't nothing wrong with this picture. Why'd you change your locks? Why you didn't want your locks to look like this? And all I can say is, it just wasn't my taste. It wasn't my look, you know what I mean? Yes, it's a cool look. And sure, I could have rocked it. I could have grew my hair out like this, but I wanted the thicker locks. I wanted those Bob Marley, Lenny Kravitz, you know, you know, just my own style. Not too thick, but thick enough. Thicker than this, so I knew I had to go from however many dreadlocks I had in this picture, in this picture, However many dreadlocks I had in these pictures right here, I don't know, but I knew I had to lessen that number if I wanted the thicker locks because my hair was still short. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna take full advantage of this and redo my dreads and have them to look like they do now. Even though they didn't look exactly like this, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get to those pictures here after this one. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how my hair looked when we started this process. And man, rough. And here we are, folks, right here. 
these are the dreads you see right now today. That picture right there are these dreads that you are looking at. So you can tell just by looking at me right now and this picture right here, how far I've come in the lock game, man. That's crazy. And it's even more so crazy because this length in this picture to what I have now is less than a year because you gotta think, I started growing my hair out from waves up until this point has been a year altogether. So from this point right here to this, it's probably been maybe like eight or nine months, you know what I mean? If that, and I know y'all see the length comparison. I mean, look at this, look at this, you know what I mean? Look at all of this. You know what I'm I ain't playing no games when it comes to this. I mean, you see the hang time in the back. And you see on this picture right here, they was barely coming past my hairline. And yes, they are even. I just got some of my locks going, you know, you know, kind of Killmonger style. Stay tuned for the next video because the next video is going to be Killmonger lookalikes. Killmonger hairstyle, so stay tuned for that. I'm already giving y'all some gems for the next video, so hey, stay tuned for that, stay locked in for that. But yeah, all of my locks are even, but like I said, I got them all going back and to the side, so some of them look a little shorter than others, but they're all the same size, so don't worry about that. That's the benefits of doing your locks yourself. You can make sure everything is in tip-top shape, spaced out the way, the thickness you want, the length you want. Hey, it's all you. Okay, this next picture is when I was entering into the button phase you know what I mean I had a little bit more hang time they were about the length of this one right here maybe a little bit shorter coming past my hairline but hey I had a little bit of hang time and I was kind of feeling myself a little bit because I had that shakeage and y'all know about the shakeage you know what I'm saying y'all know when you get that first little shakeage going on and yes shakeage is a word on this channel shakeage hey comment down shakeage down below I know y'all rocking with your boy but yes when y'all first get that little lock shake man that's everything. You know you transition from those little starter locks to little tiny nub locks to feeling like you have locks. You know what I mean? Just to feel that little shake, that move. Especially when your hair get wet and you feel your locks move around. Hey, ain't nothing better than that feeling right there because you know you feel the progress. Even if you don't see the progress, you know you feel it when you feel your locks move for the first time. It's crazy. It's kind of creepy because it feels like stuff crawling on you. But hey, you'll get over it. Trust me. I'm over it right now. All right, moving on. Now this look right here, this is one of my favorite looks. This is when my locks were locked in. They were a little bit more mature than the last picture. Well, actually they were a lot more mature because I could wash and go by now. In the last picture, I couldn't necessarily just wash and go. I had to wash and retwist to make sure my locks was doing good. So I wasn't washing my hair for, you know, like three weeks to a month at that time. But now it's, you know, every two weeks or something like that, somewhere around there, I'm doing that. But I might even do it sooner than that. I can't remember. But this look right here, this is my favorite look. My hair was locked in, like I said. I can pretty much do whatever I wanted, except it wasn't long enough to do the pineapple and put it in a ponytail at this stage right here. But hey, they was fresh, they was fresh. Now I can rock the ponytail, matter of fact, I'm gonna go and put these in the ponytail for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Hold on real quick. Ooh wee, look at the ponytail. Ooh, ooh. Got the monger coming off. I call it the monger. Got the monger coming off the side. Ponytail, bye. Y'all see that? Got some length. I couldn't do that before. I could not do that. And if y'all been following me up until this point, y'all know how I always wanted the ponytail, pineapple, braided, something. I wanted to be able to do some with my hair other than just let it hang down. It was time for me to transition out of that phase. I finally did. I got the length and bye. 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 But anyways, guys and girls, I don't want to keep y'all too long. I just wanted to show y'all this update, show y'all how far I've come, and tell you that you can do it too. If you just now starting your locks, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Locked In with Trey. Hey, this is a growing community, and I welcome every single one of you. Come and get in where you fit in. You are welcome here at Locked In with Trey, hands down. But anyway, comment down below. Let me know where you are in your phase, whether you just started your locks, whether you're in the button phase. Phase, the fuzzy phase wherever you are man comment down below and we'll hash it out period and you know what this year is gonna be a good year and i just feel it that i'm gonna hit a thousand subs this year and hey y'all already know what to do go on and smash that like button go on and subscribe to locked in with trey and i'll even make a deal with you guys if i hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year or before this year is over with i'm gonna do a giveaway i don't know what it's gonna be or what it's gonna consist of but hey 
I guarantee you we're gonna have a giveaway of something if I hit a thousand subscribers at the end of the year or before man so hey stay locked in with your boy and you already know what it is it's your boy Trey Smith bringing you love peace and prosperity forevermore throughout your life don't you forget it and I'll see you guys on the next video all right peace